Welcome back everybody, nice to see you all. This is my first shopping trip of 2023. I only went to the pound shop, so nothing exciting. But I just thought, you know, I'm going down there to get some of my bits anyway. Um, and they're just starting to get out their, um, what do you call it? Their, their new 2023 range, you know, like in the Pep Co section. So I'm talking about the home stuff, not the toiletries or your cleaning products, not that kind of stuff, but the home decor stuff. They're just starting to get it all in. Um, and it's it, the theme is black and white. I took some pictures and I took a couple of little clips of video, so I'll put those up as well. Um, black and white's not, I like black and white. Um, it, it, it's not my theme, but I did buy a couple of things which I'm gonna kind of give them a little bit of a, um, upcycle but we'll come to those in a minute um anyway grab yourselves a drink i'm drinking a hot lemon as as you know as you know i like the hot lemon so i'm drinking a hot lemon this morning um weather is pants i honestly just don't do this damp weather i've said this before if it's cold and sunny i'm happy with that i mean i'd rather it be summer um, but the damp weather, you can't get your washing dry. And because I'm trying to cut down on um, um, using my appliances, um, I, I'm finding it, you know, it, it's um, getting your washing dry and things like that. Um, but all those things we are be, do we are be doing, what kind of a language is that? We will be doing on my new channel. As you know, I've said to you, it's all about saving time, about saving energy, saving money, stuff like that. So everything to do with washing um, and appliances and stuff like that is going to be on the new channel. Um, fingers crossed it goes to plan. Um, it should be up and running, as I said, this week. Um, anyway, so you will, you will see that. Um, so do look out for it. Um, now, let's crack on to the pound shop. So... Some of their Christmas stuff also is in the sale. So I did get a few little bits and pieces only because it was so cheap. So I've got the bags in front of me here. I, I need to kind of twist the camera slightly. So just let me see if I can do it. It's on my new stand, wait a minute. I don't know if that's any better because I can't see you because the camera's facing the other way. Anyway, long story. Um, so what I'm going to do, I've got two receipts because I went to two different pound shops. And in the two pound shops I go to, they're very near each other. Um, they're like a five minute walk from one to the other one. But it's in a, in a shopping centre. Um, one's indoors and one's outdoors. Anyway, and they both do slightly different stuff. So that's why I go in um, each one of them. Um, because what I can't get in one, I can probably get in the other one and vice versa. And as I say, sometimes they do bits in one which they don't do in the other one for some reason. Anyway, so I went in two. So I've got two receipts. Um, I didn't spend an awful lot of money. I just bought a few bits and pieces. So I'm going to go through each one and read it off that way rather than picking it up and trying to find it on the receipt. You know what I'm writing receipts. So I'm going to go through. Um, now I've got the. Uh, one minute. I've got the uh, normal stuff I always get, which is things like this for Sean, because he likes a bath. So he has those. There's still a pound in there. Are they? Yes, they're a pound in there. Um, now, I'm not a baker. Let me just get this pound shop bag out of the way. Hold on. I'm not a baker, right? And I'll just tell you a quick story. So before Christmas... Or is it Christmas? Christmas Day or Boxing Day? Anyway, Sean's mum is a baker. I'm not a baker. I can't cook cakes to save my life. I can cook little fairy cakes, but that's about it. Um, and even then, they deflate. But, so, she is a, um, uh, cooks really, really lovely cakes. Anyway, she had to be in the pound shop whenever she was, and she picked up one of these sponge mixes. Now, I didn't know anything about these sponge mixes at all. She came round with this beautiful vanilla cake and in it had desiccated coconut and you know, you put your icing sugar on the top or whatnot and she put fresh cream in the middle. Oh my God, it was the, one of the lightest cakes I've ever had. It was moist, it was like, I said to her, 
She said, what do you think of that cake? I said, well, it's lovely. It's like the cakes you always make. Um, and she went, well, I bought the mixture at the pound shop. I went, you didn't, did you? She went, yeah, I did. It was like one, 125, was it? Yeah, it was 125. It's a 400 gram. And I went, oh my God, you'd never know. Oh, it's got rapeseed oil in it. There's the bag. I'll read you the ingredients which are on the back here. So you've got wheat flour, you've got calcium carbonate, you've got iron, B3 vitamin, B1 vitamin, sugar agents, oh, sorry, sugar, raisin agents, sodium bicarbonate, um, and rapeseed oil. Now, if, you, if you're a celiac or you're glute, you need um, gluten-free products, then don't use this. Um, and, and obviously you will know that. Uh, because it does say on here, allergy advice for allergens, including cereals containing gluten, um, contains egg, milk, and possibly soya. So read the bit on the back. It does tell you there, the, the on the back there is a section that says allergy advice. Um, so if you're not uh, celiac or you're not, um, tol you know, tolerant to um, gluten, then give. Give this a go honestly it was absolutely brilliant and i think all she added was um don't know see all she added was i think it tells you on here all you need is three eggs vegetable oil and water she didn't even put milk in it um and it makes a seven inch sponge sandwich cake honestly it was really nice i couldn't believe it so anyway um, what was I going to say? <laughs> I'm chatting so much about that, I forgot what I was going to say. So yeah, so what I thought is, I'm going to be having um, my little granddaughter, Dolly Doodles, and um, and she's only two, and she loves to sit with you when you're doing things. Whatever it is, if I say to her, I'm going to go and make the bigs, the bigs, what's wrong with me today? Um, if I say I'm going to go and make the beds, she'll say, can I help? Or if I say I'm going to go and clean the bathrooms, can I help? Can I do, can, I'm just going to go and cook the dinner. Can I help? Can I crack the eggs? Can I do this? So what I thought I'd do is, because I'm no good at baking and ingredients and stuff, I'll get a packet of this and she can sit with me and we can make little cakes together. Um, so, yeah, she's going to be, I'm going to be looking after her for the next few weeks. Um, while the others go back to work and while the others go back to school, she's instead of going to nursery, she's going to get, be coming back, come, coming with me for a little while. Anyway, so I picked that up as I say, one twenty-five. We'll give, we'll give that a go. Um, right, next one on my list. Now, this is again something I'm going to be reviewing on the new channel, and this is washing powder or washing detergent, whatever you want to call it, laundry detergent. Now. This is 175 in the pound shop. Um, I normally get mine from Aldi and I just buy Aldi's own make. I always get non-bio purely because um, my kids when they were little growing up, all, uh, all apart from one, so two out of three, suffered with, with eczema. So we couldn't use any um, you know, your normal um, washing powder, like Ariel and, and uh, Daz and um, what's the other one, Purcell. We, I couldn't use none of that. Um, I could only use non-bio. And I ended up using not Ariel's non-bio and it's been absolutely fine throughout. Um, and then one one year they they had non bio but they added an ingredient in it and i didn't know that i bought it and then i was going away my mum was looking after the children and my my lulu came out in a rash my mum was here looking after them um she came out in a rash she couldn't go to school her face was red and itchy her body was red, red and itchy and she was off school this is when she was a teenager um and when i looked on it there was, it was like a, a added ingredient. I, I, it was a long time ago, so I can't remember what it was. So I had to come off of the Aerial Non-Bio and ended up buying supermarkets, just their own brand. So for instance, this is Asda's um, Sensitive Non-Bio Gel. 
that's just as does one. So I ended up buying, though, the, the uh, shop's own brand because they didn't have all the perfumes and everything in them like, like your Purcells and your, and your Aerials. Um, so yeah, I ended up going back and just using, so now, um, even though it's just me and Sean in the house, I stick to non-bio. I'm not gonna buy loads of different washing powders. We all use the same. It washes up exactly the same as everything else, so I stick with that. So their laundry detergent in there, uh, suitable for sensitive skin, is uh, 175. Um, I've used it before, it's absolutely fine. In actual fact, I checked the ingredients on this against the other brands. And the, one of the ingredients in here is um, called, I'm not sure how you pronounce this, anionic, anionic suff, suff, sorry, I'm, honestly, I'm, I'm really, I'm not a good reader. Suffer something. This has less than 5%, so you're less likely to get irritants. This has 15 to 30%. So it just shows you, it might be a cheaper brand, but it's got less of those irritant ingredients in it. Um, and again, these are things I'm going to be going over in more detail on the new channel. But I just wanted to, you know, just give you a little heads up on, on, on that if, you, if you're looking for things what's, what you need for sensitive skin. So 175 for that, and that is a 970ml bottle. Um... Right, going on to a bit of a Christmas, a Christmas decoration. These, the original price, I think, was maybe, oh my God, three or four pounds. It was either three pounds or four pounds, I can't remember. Um, I'm going to be doing a bit of winter decor. Now I've taken my Christmas tree down, um, I, I, I feel a bit bare. So I'm going to do just a small amount of winter decor. Um, and let's face it, we, we might get snow again. We don't know. You know, you've got your pine trees. They've got snow on them. They don't have to be for Christmas. Now, I'm not going to decorate with glitter and baubles or anything. Uh, they're on a little wood log. It was 150, and they had loads in there. I'm pretty sure, I'm guessing it was half price. Maybe the original price was three quid. But for £1.50... Um, I'm either going to do, you know, when I did my little corner display over there, I'm going to do another one over there. Um, I may go back and get another one because I want to do, although I want to do a little corner display over there, I'm also leaving my mirrored coffee table in the hallway and I'm going to do a little display on that as well. Um, um, that will be when I start deep, deep cleaning and doing my winter decor, I'm going to do a video on that as well. So you'll see me do all that stuff. So £1.50 for that. Um, and then as we go through the bag, I'll show you the other bits uh, to go with it. Where, where are we? So the trio of them, the reef hangers in there, they're 25p. Uh, if you, so if you happen to go into um, Pound Shop and you're a reef maker, grab yourself some of these, 25p. I must admit, they, they only had one in each store um, left and this was just laying on, the, on a shelf actually. So someone's obviously picked it up and put it down again. Um, because they had none actually hanging up, and, and, I, and I picked up two because that's all they had. 25p. Um, okay, so that's my wreath hangers. <clears throat> LED candles. These, I thought, were such a good bargain. I don't know what the original price was. Three of them in a pack for 50p. Um, and although they're in their Christmas section, as you know, I have candles up all year round, or I've got my smelly candles, but these are perfect to make a little display as well. Over there in my corner, I've got real candles. I won't light the real candles over there because I've got the units. So these, in my little winter arrangement, are gonna go perfect. Three in there, they take three AAA batteries, um, and you've got a small, a medium, Sorry, small, medium and large. I mean, they're not that large, but, you know. Um, and they're the warm light, which I like. I like the warm lights. Yeah, for 50p, you can't go wrong with that, can you? Must admit, they only had 
one of the white ones or the cream coloured ones. They had lots of red ones, which I don't want red because I've got nothing to go with red. You can spray them if you want to. So if you go in there and you find these in the 50p, but they've only got the red ones, you can spray them and you can paint them as well. So you can upcycle them to your colour scheme. Um, but they had one of these, so I just grabbed that one. I thought that was a well good bargain for 50p. Um, okay, coming down my little list. You know the little string lights, what they get in there? 25p. This one again is warm light. I have a lovely big um, winter vase, um, which actually had these in it. I don't know if I did a video on it actually. No, I cut, um, cut, cut it out because um, the lights in it wasn't working. So what I'm gonna do with these ones is just put them in there. So these take two AA batteries. They're on the micro, the micro wire. And they've got these little baubles all over them, which is fine because the gold is my theme. Um, they're the micro lights and they were 25p and they are 1.5 meter. So once that's tucked in there, in that vase I've got, um, put the batteries in and that will just light up. So that'd be another part of my little winter decor display. And again, they had loads in there, loads of these little lights, 25p, brilliant. Um, Coming down, what have I got? Oh, the black ball stands. Now, you remember the Christmas tree black ball stands? I upcycled these. They were 25p. Um, again, they're going to be part, I picked up two. Where's the other one? A minute. Oh, here it is. Um, so, again, these are going to be part of my uh, winter decor. I'm going to paint these ones white and I'm going to sprinkle a slight bit of snow, maybe a little tiny bit of glitter for a bit of shimmer around the edges as well. Take them off of the stand, because I don't want them on the stand. Take them off of there, upcycle them, and do like I did with the other frames. Got the frames and put them in the middle. Um, those ones I did obviously were gold with loads of glitter on them. I've got um, more of those frames and I'm just gonna paint them white. They're gonna go in the middle of that. So that'd be a project coming up for you to watch as well. And they're also gonna go and put my display. And I picked up two of those. 25p, I think they're brilliant. Um, I think, is that it on that? Yep, so that's that on that receipt. Let's move that out of the way so I'm not getting it all mixed up. Okay, going on to my fridge. I've never used these before. They're called fridge liners. I don't know if anybody else has or anyone's got any views or comments about these. These are a pound. Um, you get a twin pack, so you've got two in there. Apparently the idea of these are they keep your fruit and your veg fresher for longer. Now in the bottom of my fridge, those drawers, and there's a picture on the front there, I don't know if you can see. Is it down there? Down there. Um, you pull your salad drawers out, and what I do is I lay um, kitchen roll, poly roll, whatever you want to call it, on the bottom. I find that way it absorbs any moisture or whatever. Then when I'm cleaning it out, I take it out, Wipe it, throw it away, and put a fresh one in. So I thought I'd give these a go. I don't know, as I say, I've never used them before. I don't know if they're any good. But what it says on here is keeps fruit and veg fresh for longer, which I've just said. You place in your salad tray or directly on a shelf. Perforated liner absorbs excess moisture, which I was saying, with your fruit and veg. Cut to size if required. Keeps trays and your shelves clean. Um, now, you may be... They're non-stick, it says, and you can cut them to size. You may be able to put these in the washing machine. I, I know this is a funny thing, but I actually put my cloths, when I've got my dishwasher on, I don't know whether anyone else does this, I put my cloths in my dishwasher. Um, your dishwasher is very high heat, and it's just the same as putting it, put it in a washing machine. So I, I, I'd normally have my dishwasher on every other day, because um, obviously there's only two of us. Um, and my cloth goes in there. I bleach my cloth as well. I do bleach it and I bleach it regular. And then once it's kind of started to deteriorate from the bleach, because bleach rots the material, then I'll replace it and get, a, a, get a, a new one out. But what I'm getting at is, I wonder if I can put these in the dishwasher, which I, I don't, they're only a pound, so I can put them in there and see what they come out like. Um, 
So yeah, I'm gonna give them a go um, and see what they come out like. So that's them. Babers a pound. Oven liner, I bought a new oven liner. I've had my original oven liner now for a long time. I use it. It's constantly in the bottom of my oven. Um, and this will, that one's gonna come out and it's a good clean and a good scrub. So while that one's being done, I'm gonna put this one back in there. These are two pound, non-stick, heavy duty. The original ones I bought were from Amazon and they were, oh my God, if I can find them on Amazon, I'll flash it up. But they weren't quid, obviously. Um, so, and it also says on here you can put them in your microwave, which I didn't know that. I'm presuming you just cut it in half and, and lay it in the bottom of your microwave. I've got a round turntable in mine. I presume I can cut the circle out and lay it on the top of there. That keeps the plate clean, which probably doesn't make any difference because if this gets dirty, then you've got to clean it. If your plate gets dirty, you've got to clean that. So, I don't know. I Yeah, I don't th think there's any point in doing that, to be honest with you. But for your oven, yeah, because obviously all your grease goes on the bottom of your oven and it's harder to clean off. Um, so anyway, one of those for two quid, a new one of them. Um, now, going on to the air fryer. As you know, and I've said this recently, I've got mixed feelings about the air fryer. I don't know whether I'm doing it right. I've followed the instructions on the air fryer, and again, this is something we're gonna be reviewing on the new channel. I've followed the instructions for a couple of recipes, and it, it weren't great. In fact, one of, one of the meals I did, Sean went, this was his exact words. That was rank. Don't ever do it again. <laughs> and I went, but I followed the instructions. It, down to the last little detail, I followed the instructions. And honestly, it was awful. It was pork, um, pork chops, wrapped in you, um, bread crumb or whatever you do with them. And yeah, it, it weren't great. It was, yeah. Anyway, so I won't be doing that again. Uh, anyway, cut a long story short, what I wanted to do was I've heard that you can cook cakes in it um, and I'm thinking, but how do you put your mixture in there then? What can you put in the air fryer to put your mixture in? Obviously, because it's liquid. So I picked up these and I don't know whether you can put these in there. So I'm going to Google it and I'm sure you guys who have got an air fryer will leave me comments and tell me either yes, I can or no, I can't. Um, so please do, please do share and you know and air all your thoughts and um, your processes on using the air fryer because it's interesting for for the whole community, let's say our, our whole YouTube community to um, look at these things, you know, and share share your thoughts and your processes. So these are silicon coated loaf tin liners. You get fifteen in a pack. They were. Uh, £1.50. So if that's the case, can I put my, let's say, Yorkshire pudding mixture in there? Can I put that cake mixture in there? Um, so let me know, guys. I'm not going to do this until you've left me comments because I don't want it to catch fire. <laughs> so I'm going to give that a go once you let me know, uh, but I will Google it as well. Um, anyway, silicone liners, they're £1.50. Back on Christmas bit again. Snow confetti, 25p for a bag. They had loads in it. It's an 80 gram bag. Um, so these I can use for when I'm doing the winter decor, just add a little bit of snow, a little bit of snow theme as well. So for 25p, that's absolutely perfect. But I've actually got a little uh, hack. And I might do that as a short video. Um, for homemade snow for next year. I may, um, maybe I'll do it this week and I'll add it as a little short video. So look out for the shorts. I've just started to get into these shorts. Um, I've already did the, I did one the other day, it was uh, putting the Christmas lights away. Um, yeah, so anyway, look out for that. Um, okay, so the snow, yep, done. The reef hanger I've just showed you. The craft wire on there. I always buy this in there. I think it's super brilliant, super cheap. 37 meters for 25p. So I, I always, always at Christmas stock up on these and they last me throughout the year and beyond. 
Um, and they had absolute loads on the shelf, so I, I picked up four, as you do. But because I do weddings as well, um, this is just perfect for me. Uh, so 25p for your wire. Oh, let's not chuck it back in the bag, let's get it out. Um, cellophane, I always do hampers. I do Christmas hampers, I do Mother's Day hampers. So when they've got their cellophane in there, um, this actually was, I think it was in sale 50p, it's 10 metres. Um, and again, I think it's a good buy, it's a good deal. So if you do hampers, pop in, pop in the pound shop and get yourself some cellophane, brilliant. Um, right, coming down, where are we? Craft wire we've done. Okay, ceramic character, which I think are these. 25p in the Christmas section, I picked two up. And again, these are gonna go as my part of my winter decor um, little display. I'm not going overboard. I'm literally gonna do a small one over here and I'm gonna do a, one on the coffee table in the hallway. Um, and I'm, well, I'm saying I'm not going mad. I'm gonna do a table arrangement over here, which I've just started. And over in my corner, I did a great big um, Christmas display. Uh, and I put the pictures up on my page. If no one's seen it, I'll, I'll put a picture on here as well. It's a beautiful, great, big, enormous arrangement. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out the, the sparkly, glittery elements and keep in the frosted ones. And that will be my winter display for that corner over there. Um, so yeah, going back to them, they were 25p each, picked up a couple of those. And then the last couple of things I've got, I'm just checking down here, is their Pep & Co range, their new range which is coming out. And as I said, it's black and white. I actually quite like, I quite like them. Um, I'm gonna keep them white at the moment for the winter decor. Should I say that again? How many times I've said winter decor um, for my displays? And then I'm going to bring in some golds into it to bring it into after the winter, okay? Um, the thing is black and white in there at the moment. These are the oil burners or your wax melts. I'm gonna be using them as wax melts. So you put your little candle in the bottom there and your wax melts or your oil on the top. These was a pound. And I think they're really quite high-end looking. I like the way they've done the edging on the uh, the detail in the circle around there, the black and white part. It's also on the top there. Um, I'm gonna keep it black and white. Then after the season, I'm gonna put a bit of rub and buff on there and bring a bit of gold into it as well. Um, so that'd be part of my display as well. Thought they were really nice. And then the last two things I got, and you're thinking, well, what the hell is that? These, actually, I've seen them in high-end shops. I've seen them in H&M. I can't remember how much they were, but I'll look for these and I'll put some details and you can check the prices on them. This was two pounds and it's just an ornament. That's all it is, it's a ceramic ornament. Um, but as part of my display it's going to look quite nice um, and then in a few weeks time I'm going to bring a little bit of gold into kind of just rub it over with a slight distressed look as well um, I might even go back and get a couple more of these I think they're really unusual they're not so much well they are unusual but they've got this kind of contemporary look but you can glam it up if that makes sense um, so I'm going to go and get another one of them. And then to go with that are these. Now, these have been very popular for, for quite a while. And I've seen them in great big enormous vases. So they've, it's like your, not bustier, because obviously that's the top. And I'm not sure what they're called from the bottom down. Because it's it doesn't say like a name on here. Um, and you might be thinking, oh, why do you want a bum on the side? I, I just like the shape, actually. Whether it was just flat on the back there, it's, it's I don't know, I, I just think it's quite nice. <laughs> um, I'm gonna take these out because I don't think that just sits right with that. 
personally. So I'm gonna take these out, but the, again, it's gonna go, it's not gonna be like facing like that, it's gonna be at an angle, or you do it that way. But if you put in, let's say if you Google bum bars, something like that, you'll see these come up. Um, and as I say, they do great big enormous ones as well, big white ones like this, and they actually look quite nice. Um, so when I saw these in there, I was pleasantly surprised. I thought, oh yeah, I'm gonna get one of those little ones. I'd like a big one, but they're quite expensive. This was three pounds. So again, I'm gonna keep it white and then I'm gonna kind of later on put a bit of gold on the little handles there, like that. Um, maybe put a little bit of gold down, which is like your hips, I suppose. I don't know yet, but anyway, that was three pounds. Well guys, that's it for today. Um, not a massive great big pound shop haul, but a few bits and pieces for you to be getting on with. And um, we'll call it a day. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your week. Take care. Don't forget my new channel, so look out for it. It's called Bits, Bobs, Bargains. Get over there, subscribe, um, because there's, there'll be lots and lots and lots coming up. Lots of tips and tricks on there, money saving tips, stuff like that. Um, so do go over there and subscribe to that one as well if it's something you want to or if, even if you're just curious go and check it out um, just making sure I've done everything to show you and I think I have see you later on take care bye